Good morning. It's Friday. It's my RDO. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I come out this morning. It's a bit lumpy, but it's not like the easterly's not really strong or anything. I've tucked in nice and close to the beach. Why? Um, just because that's what I felt like doing this morning. I know I can probably definitely get fish if I go out a bit further out to some of my lumps out here, but I kind of like the challenge of getting them inshore. Um, I don't know, I just kind of enjoy it. And you guys know, it's, for me, it's not necessarily always about the fish, it's just about coming out, having a bit of a chill session, just enjoying the morning, watching the sun come up, drink my coffee. So I'm anchored up, same story as always. I've got the old IGA chicken in the barely pot there. I've got a couple of half mealies out the side. And yeah, I'm just gonna kick back and enjoy it because at the moment, it's a little bit brisk, but it's just beautiful. These um, autumn mornings are absolutely spectacular. So let's see what the day brings. Yeah. Well, there you go. Every bait I was pulling back to the boat was getting, <laughs> it was getting hammered just here behind the boat. I had a feeling it was like Skippy or something in the Bearley Trail. So I dropped a smaller little jig down here. And, oh, it's a little pinky. Yeah. Well, there you go, I tell a lie. I thought it was a Skippy. I thought that was Skippy hammering my um, baits as I was winding it back in, but it seems like it's just these little guys, little pinkies. Um, I don't know, it's good for the it's good for our fishery to know that these little guys are around. These are the big guys for the future. Also lets you know you're in the right spot because when these guys are here, the big guys are normally around the same areas as well. You can go back anyway. So all I had there was a little tiny jig head with a HP Lazy Yockey skirt on it. Just threw it over the side. Just sort of slowly bounced it back over the bottom, back towards the boat. Let's see if I can get another one. I think there might be some skippy down there as well, so I'll give it a crack. Oh, here we go, something a bit better. It's not huge. This will be another, it's a snapper, I can tell by the head shakes. It'll probably be one just under size, I'm thinking. He's putting in. There you go, little pinky. He's just done the size. Oh, and I'm in on the other right here. Just let my little jig rest on the bottom while I wound that one in. This will be another one just like that, I think. This is only pretty light line I got on here. 10 pound or, I don't know, the equivalent of what used to be four kilo back in the day. I don't know why things went from pounds to kilos back to pounds, but. Oh, these guys put up a good scrap on the right sort of tackle. It's actually a better one. Here my little HB hockey skirt there. You'll go back. Easy. Almost went back with a spike in my hand. And now I'll sort this guy out. Oh, there you go, it's a bit of excitement. Um, See if we can get a size one and that'll do me for lunch but it'd be really nice if i can score a big one too so i'll keep plugging away with the big baits out the back and i'll just keep playing around with this little jig next to the boat oh here we go again this little jig's on fire this morning so what i'm doing here is i've got my barely going as usual oh these little pinkies just seem to be everywhere I've got my baits cast right out the back of the barely. Oh, this guy might go just about size actually. 
I've got my baits cast right out the back because I find the bigger ones, especially in shallow water here. I mean, well, you guys can see how close to the beach I am here. I'm pretty close to the beach. In the shallow water like this, the bigger ones get pretty spooky, especially as the sun comes up. So I'll always put my baits out sort of a bit further wider. But my, this little jig, I'm basically just dropping this underneath the boat, jigging it around. Look at that, that's a pretty healthy fish. Unlike gear, yeah, great fun. The beauty of using the jig is nine times out of ten, because you're actually pulling the jig in, you don't get any deep hookups, they're always jaw hookups, the fish release really easily. Um, yeah, jigs are pretty good for that sort of thing. Oh, that was always going to be the case. I threw out a third line because I was playing with that jig, and now I've hooked up something reasonably decent on this rod. Oh no, and it's all tangled around. Oh, that was always going to happen. Silly boy. I'm just going to have to deal with it like, when it comes in. Uh, it's not huge anyway, I think it's just another small pinky. Oh, this is going to pick up the third line as well. <laughs> going to teach me a lesson here. Oh no, this is just a spaghetti mess. <laughs> Another guy, you'll probably go just under size again. Just can't seem to get a size one this morning. Another little guy. 44 centimetres. Always baffles me how lines can tie themselves in knots like this. How does it even happen? Alright, these are going to be my last baits. I've got stuff to do at home today, so I'll make these my last ones. Oh, that was a big hit. I just got a really nice hit there. I'm going to put this back in the hold up. See if it comes back. Oh no, he's still there. Yeah, he's still there. Oh, no. Nah, just snap. Oh, that was a good hit. That was the first good hit I've had all morning. He's off now. What I'm going to do is wind in that third line because that's just going to be chaos if I do get a decent hook up. I said they were going to be my last baits, but I'll do two more. Drag up, let's not mess around here. It's a snapper, it's not huge, but with a bit of luck, it'll be size. No, I don't think it's gonna be. Oh, it's gone right underneath this big pile of seaweed here. No, he's under another one of those little ones. Oh, now I'm here on the other one. Hang on, that sounds like a better one. Oh, I want to get this guy back. Okay, what's going on here? This one sounds like it might be a better one. This could be the one we want. I was just about to go actually, the sun's come up. I've got a lot to do today. I had a few trees pulled down with an excavator yesterday, so I've got to go home and clean up all the mess. So 
so I was just about to leave. But, you know, the old famous fisherman, one more cast. Couldn't help myself. I got a good... This rod had a nice hit on the last bait. Took a really, a really decent hit, which was a good fish. So I knew there was a couple of good fish around. There's been heaps of those smaller ones around. But normally there's always a decent fish in amongst them. This one might be just the one we want. As much as I like to catch big ones, the big ones are our breeders and I like to let them go. If I'm going to eat one, I like to eat them around about 60, 70 centimetres is perfect eating size for me. This guy looks like he might go just around that too. Well, he's actually a bit bigger than he looks. Get my net here. Oh, he's not finished. He's actually putting in alright, this guy. He's alright, he's perfect. Oh, now I've got my strap messed up. Alright, so there he is. He's a nice little fish. Let me just measure him quickly. Sixty-five centimetres. This guy's perfect eating size and I'm gonna take him home. Um, there you go. I knew this was nothing special here guys. You can see how close to the beach I am. It's got nothing to do with technique. Nothing to do with the spot. All this was was just patience and just staying committed. Um, I've only been here, what, probably two hours, but yeah, it's just about putting in the time, really. But he's a nice little fish. He'll do us for dinner tonight. So I'm going to put him out of his misery, get him on ice, and then that's probably it for me. Righto, so that this morning went pretty well for a sort of half-hearted effort. It was more about being my day off. I just wanted to get out and um, get a bit of sunshine, get some fresh air and just have some chill time. So I achieved that and managed to catch a couple of fish in the meantime, which we're gonna be eating later on. Uh, like I said to you before, I got a big job on this afternoon. I got all this stuff. Got a couple of big stumps pulled out. Have a look at this one here. I don't even know what to do with this stuff. It doesn't even burn, it's like so wet, it's ridiculous. Um, but I'm going to stack it up and let it sit for a while and hopefully it'll burn eventually. Or I'll just keep lighting fires under it till it does. Anyway, I've got the boat here. Uh, I haven't washed it for probably a good couple of weeks. I was on holidays and I was using it almost daily and I haven't washed it once. You can probably see on the clears here covered in salt spray uh, it's a bit of a mess but luckily I scored myself a bit of a care package from the salty captain so I'm gonna put this little outfit together we'll give the boat a bit of a hose we'll let it sit for five and then all it says is spray it on let it sit for five minutes and rinse it off and your vessel will be sparkling clean so good luck if it gets my boat sparkling clean I'm gonna give my car a clean cuz you think my boat's dirty I haven't washed my car for probably four years. Um, I call it paint protection. Underneath all the dirt and rubbish, my paint is immaculate. But yeah, I'm not sure that I wanna clean it off. But anyway, we'll start. <laughs> I'm not sure it will come off. We'll start on the boat for now and see how good this stuff is. Thank you, Salty Captain. Well, it's certainly foamy, no doubt about that. If it gets the salt off of these clears, I'll be wrapped because there's nothing worse than that salty film all over your clears and you can't see where you're going first thing in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna have to get myself some more hose and get up in the boat. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I'm spraying it on the carpet as well. 
because God knows my carpet absolutely reeks in this boat. It's had more snapper blood on it than is probably necessary. Yeah, squirt it on, it's all good. Yeah, just rinse it off apparently. Beautiful. Actually looks like it's done not a bad job. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you like our stuff, stay tuned. Uh, I've got a couple of surprises coming up, but I'm heading out tomorrow morning with Jack and we're gonna give it a proper effort tomorrow morning. This morning, like I said, was sort of a half-hearted, just more about me getting out and getting some me time. But tomorrow morning, we're out with Jack and we will give it a shot and hopefully we can get something on tomorrow morning. Ew. Well, it does exactly what it says on the box. It gets the salt off. It's good stuff.